Bulakut. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Seema Sahardarhi. I'm the Premier's Press Secretary. Today is Thursday, January 27th, and we're doing another COVID-19 press conference. Uh, today, we're, we are joined uh, in addition to the statement by the Premier uh, and Minister Main and the Chief Public Health Officer. We uh, also have Minister Nakshuk joining us to discuss uh, a new COVID-19 uh, program rollout. Uh, so she'll be available for uh, questions and answers uh, regarding those initiatives. Thank you. January 17, Minister and uh, Minister Akiyako is also available if there are any questions. Minister Akiyako, do you know me? I think so. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Uli. I'm Kuya Nami Sima. Um, now we in the Kuluin. Uh, Nunalatin Nalatum. Uh, is it Magi Vasi? Uh, Udlango yo Nalunasi gum Nasi vugu 279 gum yo Nuvan Nozualin. Uh, Udlango yo Nalunatau yo. Tako 16 gum yo Nunalita Iluanitum. 18 Arvean. 28 Kamanitua. 31 Ikalututia. 1 Iduligadu. 15 Sadlil. 55 Iglulik. 33 Ikaluin. Zero Uxoto, zero Kimiron, sixteen Kingain, zero Kugarjo, two Kodlokto, five Nauyan, zero Panokto, seven Mitimatale, zero Kikatabzoa, eighteen Kangatlino, five Sanraya, twenty eight Sanikidua. 11 Talodua, and my six Tikiradua. Udlango Yong Nalu Nelsigo Nasibo, 73 Nuvan Nodua Harum Nutum, Udlango Yong, Katitu with Aqua, 591 Mulutum, Anigwishima Yukuru, Nuvan Nodua Harum Nutum. Udlango Yong, Ovea Sutiapuma, Takua, Inulericon, Nunavu Mutalimano, Ikayutin, Primakuina Padiasi Magata, Gava Mountuta, and Ikayurunangi Kalomangata. Udlango Yong, Kovia Sutapunga, Naluna Sigum Narata, 3.25 million Inidapam Katigun, Takua, Uluana Tumin Tunupangun, Nunalitin, Sakigum Naratigum, Naluna Sigum Nasivogun, Takua, Inulirikun, Imavito Simayone, San Ikayutin Sakivun, Sivudlopa, 1.25 million Takua, Nunalinun, Nikilinamun. Tunga Vikatun and Matakwa Hamalakun Nikatu Jarata Haram Namia Nomun, Tusharia Hataram Namiatun, Tungilinga Inulikun, San of Kanrivon, one million Takwa Ikokak, Idurala Nomon, Tuanga Yon Sakrevon, Ama Tungulia Ama King Udropa, Tukisigia Vikun, Ilitarsin, Ilisarsivik, Ama. Uh, Isashi Magit Inu Summit, Katu Jahatigikum, Takwa, Katit Lewit, uh, two hundred twenty to two hundred fifty thousand dollars Atunit, Sanovavium Mata, Takwa, Kayushin Nahut Lewit, Pilarar Hatatakulung, Nunalitinum, Koyanamiru Matia Para, Tana, uh, Inu Rijikot, Minister, Minister Nakashuk Takun, and Asuru Latathan is Akrium Nasima Maudrangu. Minister Nakasuk Tavanito, Upper Kotisakato on the Rome Takua, Iluring in Aula Nari Katomatang in Missanum Nalunasi Kandaruma Bunga, Takua, Ikayutu Hatasima Mayo, Nunavu, Saka Hatasima Yavu Tabuna, Takua, Nuva Nodua Hatun, Angasima Koyoka in Nasimayo, Nukin, Payuta Hataning in Ekati Tigaruma Bunga. Akirangitu Kut Ukala Gun Natun, Taman Akirangitu Ukala Tivun, one eight 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 nine oh two zero eight seven two, Uvalunin Karasau Yakun Isolation Supports at GOV dot NU dot CA. Tenuisako Yapu Takua Ukala Yukarun Ukala Yun, 
especially the our elders that are listening this morning as of this morning Nunavut has 279 positive cases of COVID-19 we have active cases in 16 communities. The reported numbers are 18 in Nakhayan, 28 in Baker Lake, 31 in Cambridge Bay, one in Chesterfield Inland, 15 in Cora Harbor, 55 in Igluric, 33 in Nikhalwin, zero in Joe Haven, zero in Kimmerun, 16 in Kingain, zero in Kugatuk, two in Khuluktu, five in Nauyan, zero in Pannatu, seven in Pandanlan, zero in Khikirtadzwa, 18 in Rankinlan, five in Sanagayak, 28 in Sanikilwa, 11 in Talodzwa, and six in Whale Cove. We have reported 73 recoveries today. There has been 500 91 total reported recoveries in this outbreak. I am pleased to note that we have allocated additional supports for vulnerable Nunavut as part of the government of Nunavut's COVID-19 response plan. This additional 3.25 million will be made available through various community initiatives. The Department of Family Services has reallocated 1.25 million to provide community food organizations or municipalities with grants so they could support food security initiatives. Two, the department has also provided additional $1 million for the Ikokak cabin building program. And three, Tukisigarvik, Ilitarsinuk, Ilisarsivik, and the Embrace Life Council will each receive $250,000 to continue to provide services and programs to Nunavut in need. These initiatives are led by the Department of Family Services. I'd like to thank Minister Nakashuk for these initiatives. The minister is here to answer any questions regarding these initiatives. I want to remind Nunavumun of the COVID-19 resource line we have available as well. If you are isolating because of COVID-19, you can call toll for toll free 1-888-902-0872 or email isolation supports at gov.nu.ca to access the government of Nunavut's isolation grocery hamper. 
uh, please be patient. The staff are dealing with a high volume of calls to address this very critical program. For those with travel-related questions, please call Government of Nunavut's toll-free travel line at 1-833-524-0735. Operators and staff are available to help in all four official languages. I'd like to remind to please get vaccinated, to get your children vaccinated, and to get your booster shot when you can. I know many of us are feeling the weight of this pandemic, but we can't let our guard down. We must continue to adhere to the public health measures. Please stay home when possible, stick to your small bubble, and wear a mask. Above all, be patient and be kind. Blacher <laughs> Ubaluni na lao tikkutigut nuna ringnik pita kakman nuna bumiutanik tamakuninga hulingitunik hulingitunik o kau hekak taktut tunik pita kakman ilak ugon na kaluak po kaputit mikanut nubang nalurangmut at nilagay kutawyut tamakwa kaputit akong natukok tisuta nuna bumiutaw katigik tutigut Tamakwa hag lokitautit, huling ito o kauhikat, iwaan lako tau lang in lakit mata, ikayong na kang in lakit to tamakwa. Taman na o kauhikat takhe magalwak sugu, ublo ni kangak kemayunik o kauhikat kanilak paka, tamakwa nuwang nalurang mo at nilagay ko tau yut kaputit, ulo kaya nang itut. Uwang anang minyak, taku yagang ama kau yagang ama kapiyau yo karangat makuk tumik baluni ahingan inuna bumi utau yumik nereung nekta kan nekta ramat hibunik kabut piu nek kau nela kahugi blue kau yumagap tanilang amihu nekat inuna bumi utat kapiyau hima pata hibunik kabut ayok nangin nek kau nekto Amalu inu hari lau kemai yap tinut, nubang nalar tak lau kahit nagu. Tiap kau inu hari lau kemai yap tinut, utak pada yudlang nagapta. Amihu nak kau pada kapiyau himayu. Ukuali haglo kita utit takub lugit jam. Ulogai nak tumut, toga gang nak hendak matali. Nunabum miota nidlu. Ulogay anak tu muak ti cidu tau muak tau hokput ukua huling itut o kau hikat kapia hulak ti cina o ilaga hulak ti cihin nakput amalu pilaga kati pilaga kati gini new yud luaga yak tu mi hekup ceribu kau i magapta kapia o himang itut Ulogayanang ito mihiyo, ulogayanang nakang mihiyo, mata nubang naluwak. Tau tuk sugu, at nilag, at nilag luwak, nakaw yun luwak, so tika piyaw himang ito, ubalo ni inu yun niya kinakayakang nakaw bluti, kapiyaw himang ito, taman nakaw yung mayabot. Ang malui, kaw yung malukta tugut, ihumakong naktakakmat, tamapta ihumakong nakakapta, kapiyaw huwak mga apta, Kihani, tama ko kaputi, piuging in nagwigit, ati tama na iho makong nagyat, ilit ni hiu langli, inu katiknut, tama na tunin ni lupte ligu, 
makwa haglo kaita utit atok lugit kuling itu okauhi atok lugit apa kau ikang nerupi nuang nalaram at nyeleri kuda yu kaput imikanut daman nakanuing itu apa kau ikang nerupi ati ukwa kau i mayok luar kutigi jabut nalalukit Dr Patterson kau hika kak tak manhuli unik nalak lugu okakat ikak lutit na yung wami ane si utimik kau yung mayaknik upi kayaknik ukuha huling ito ni hak kaya ti chihok tut hak lo kita utinik kakita uya tigot na alaw tiko tigot lunit upi kita ilikit damakuha iso akay yung imata na yung wangung imata o kau hekak takto damak kuninga Mandatau kau hekai huak meja kau blak kano tigi atnya teh liti ciku pilih kejingin kano tigi mana pin makai up mangat terjuang up mangat picak tau yang akan ningin aku orang nak tu kau turut temak dah ambalu kau yang mayunga yang makah atu lek ti tau yang mayut Tama ko a pidyuti ki blugit. Imakaning nga o man yang mik ubalunit. Utak kay ngun yang mik. Pita ka kinakaya kakso ni. Tama ko a tulak titaw himayut. So a kaya yang rin mo akong nagtukor ti chitak mata. Kihye ni. Tama na uga loak ti sugu. Uko a chiku pili kay yingin. Tukak vi utakong ikalwa ka. Ukua antnya teh liti ciku pilih kaji di langit. Pici yang itu orang tak mata okau hikut. Ila kahaga utak suri lu ila ngagut okau hikut. Taman nai huma dong nak to. Pilih kaji orang tak put tama kua nai yang wit am ahingit pilih kaji antnya teh liti cini uiluan ini akok tu ikayong niluk tu. Ukuninga Atu lek di tahu hima unik maligi akak tap titik. Ihu maliok tangit mata. Maling ni luk hinak tu tahu tama ko pilih kaji. Ekana yaktin. Amal nunaling miu tahu katigi yang minik. Ika yong ni luk suri akok pun. Kanuing ni cia ko yinak mudu pilih kaji bu. Ati pilih kaji katigi tu inau yakta. Mana nuang nalar akhir hari gap tigo inu katibut nuna buk meuta katibut akhir hari ngita but mana nuang nalar deka akhir akhir hari jawut akhir akhong nerwit neng minak inu tu titau ge akang nak pijuti git sugu ubaloni maligi akak tibut atulak titau himajut ubaloni nuang nalar but Nuang nalar api judi git sugu ihu makku akhong nerobit ikayok torak bikak talik ikayok tu luak tu nik pitalik nuna bumiut ikayok tau yang akang nak pada ihu makku ema pilih kaji nik pitalik nuna ling nik atnya wing mud kau ikak taluhi atnya teli ti cikut nut ubalune okalu tikut Atuin nak talik, kayo tu luar tu nik, uba ilangin. Kau hera lek lek nunabut kama cia tu helpline one eight hundred two six five three 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 three. Amalu kamu maku pilih kaji nut. Okalu okalu timit tau pita kak meyo pilih kaji nut. Toka angai unik ilangin nut lu. Toka angai yok taman na. One eight hundred six six three one one four two. Ati ekau magi ata bilang katigi itu inau gapta, akok itu inau sudado. Pive kak tuluk tayang ubud. Taman na ani gud lakin na kolugo nuwang na jual lekanya. Amalu ibit bilang lekanya kiyatit, akok na kiyatit ikayong na kakput inau katig nu. Mana? Good morning. I'd like to speak about how dangerous 
misinformation regarding COVID-19 can be. Unfortunately, there are some Nunavut who are using radio or social media to spread lies regarding vaccinations. As we go through tough times as a territory, there's nothing to be gained from these lies. I've said this before and I'll say it again, the COVID vaccines are safe. As I see our youth and others getting vaccinated, I feel real hope for the future. Having more people vaccinated will also help us go back to living more normal lives. On the other hand, vaccine misinformation puts Nunavut at risk. Misinformation only provides fear and it destroys trust. Those, are, those who are not vaccinated are at much greater risk of becoming very ill or dying from COVID-19. Now getting vaccinated is a personal choice. But if you don't believe in the vaccine, please do not put others at risk with your false information. If you are unsure about the vaccine if, and if you have questions, that's okay. Listen to the experts, listen to Dr. Patterson, speak to a nurse that you trust. Don't listen to social media or community members who are not health professionals. I'd also like to speak about how important it is to respect our Nunavut health staff during these tough times. Now, I know that some people are frustrated by the public health measures, but please do not take out your frustrations on our health staff. Some of our health professionals are facing abusive and threatening language. These health staff are working long hours. They are there to help and they do not control the public health, health measures. They're working as hard as they can to provide communities with the best possible care. Let's keep working together against COVID-19. If you're struggling with isolation, the restrictions or the stress and anxiety from COVID-19, as many of us are, there is help available. I encourage Nunavut Mew to access the mental health services and hotlines available across the territory. Nunavut Kamachiatut Helpline is at 1-800-265-3333. And for Government of Nunavut employees, there is the Employee and Family Assistance Program, 1-800-663-1142. Please remember we are all in this together and we are all doing the best we can. We all have a role to play in getting through this pandemic and your actions Help protect everyone's health. But now. Good morning. <clears throat> Over the past few days, we have received questions about how we decide to uh, change public health restrictions and why one community has stricter public health measures than others. It's important to understand that the number of cases of COVID-19 in a community do, does not necessarily represent the degree of spread nor the level of risk. There are other factors that need to be considered um, when assessing the risk to a community. These include the number of households involved, how fast the virus is spreading, whether or not health staff can keep up with testing and tracing, and what percentage of the community has been vaccinated. We consider all of these factors when setting measures for a community. Asing ini, 
The best ways to reduce the risk to communities include staying home when you are sick, following uh, public health measures, wearing masks, limiting essential gatherings, following the isolation rules, and getting vaccinated. Thank you. Uh, Trevor, right, none of the news. Uh, first question is for uh, Minister Nakashuk. New supports announced today. The uh, 1.25 million. Uh, which have you guys decided on which specific community food organizations will be getting getting that money? Here? Trevor Wright, on the news, Community Minister Nakasukta, and the 1.25 million is a Malayo Tosimayo. The Leno Nunali no Timio Yunuluni, Tunio Nelmara, the Malayo Tafas Pavis. Koyanami, Lakununabumi, Koyanami Tan, Atakotega View. Taco Kino, Yatu Nomani Atununabu, Nunaling in Nod, Kina, Lerte, and Tunut, um, Ayosatula and Mokamakata to it, Kina, Lerte, and Tunut, Opaloha, Malacun, um, Kina, and it to Saragun, Lotta, Bunga, Inulri, Kunun, Nakataro, Tisanuturanga, Yoni, Nunalini, Atuin Namagun, Rayal Lotti, Vienami. Oh, thank you for the question. Uh, the f money that will be provided, it will be to all the communities and it will be to any nonprofit organization, uh, societies or the municipalities that could apply into this funding um, that will go towards food security into the communities. Thank you. Um, second question is for uh, Minister Main. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> NTI recently offered and sent skidoos as incentives for Inuit to uh, get vaccinated. Uh, what are your thoughts on thoughts on this? Ikayong ni look mata, kapiyo ko yin ng mood, to man ni piyugid laik taka, tay matuami ho na kat, nunabumiyo kapiyo himagumak put, amo hilaw kaatit nagit April mayo ko to ko amo hinang nagak mata, pagkotak dyanik, 
I think it's a great initiative, and I really appreciate the support from the uh, Inuit organizations on this, this drive. Uh, we, we are all working together in terms of us as a territory trying to get more Nunavumiut vaccinated. We all know the benefits from vaccination, and they are real. Uh, whether you're young or old, there's real be benefits from getting vaccinated, and I hope to see more Nunavumiut uh, going out and getting their shots when they can uh, before April, which I believe is when the draw uh, will be happening. Thank you. Uh, my question is for Minister Main. Uh, Theresa Hetchik, CBC News. Um, on a episode of the CBC, when I was talking about the Kinaming Arto Kia, I was talking about the COVID hotline. 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 Ohala had done it to a conialo, Utakigomangichuti, O Baloni, Ilisitu in a Sihatartui, Tamana Isamagirogo, Siamagero Tautu in a Rehato, Takoa, Houses of Tauchao to Gihatangi Pata, Um, Isomarso Tihalaxi or Isomarso Isomarso Tihatakisi, Takonanga, Ohala, Viogun Nartuno, Ila Garcilose. This is a question from the public that was given to CBC. Um, it's about the COVID hotline. Wait times are long, beyond two hours at times. It's a huge deterrent. I know of symptomatic people who don't bother calling or eventually hang up. This makes it very difficult to contain the current wave or especially this outbreak in Baker Lake right now. If there are actually way more cases than being called in, would you consider adding a callback feature? Um Matna Okalutim <laughs> Uh, um, thanks for the question and um, I'm, I am aware there, there have been issues around wait times uh, with the hotline, uh, particularly during the Christmas holiday New Year period. We had some very long wait periods uh, for people calling in. My understanding is that those wait times have come down considerably, and that's a result of uh, additional resources that have been put in place, as well as uh, diverting some of the calls for hampers, uh, for example, to, to a separate line. Um, but that being said, I, I, I'm sorry to hear that that individual is waiting for, for a long time. I apologize. Uh, I encourage people to continue calling that hotline. Please be patient. And as for adding a callback feature, uh, it's something I, I'm willing to, to look at. Thank you. CBC, Konoan, Yahak Nangitul Riziko, Kyu Guti Halaktoe, Raymond Ningyuchia, Michano, Ilangi, Anyakauchi Kasawakaloak Mata, Coral Harbor Mo, Innakuvimi, Mamana, Embassy West Me. Taman natural tau larito ilangin no, um, anya hak nangitul rizikuning avuti, 
Uh, you released a statement yesterday to CBC in response to the plea from Raymond Niuchak's family to return him home to Coral Harbor from the elder, uh, elder care facility at Embassy West. Um, this is very difficult. This is a very difficult situation for his family. Is there anything else you want to say from the department so that other families or elders uh, don't go through the same situation? But, no. Um, I'm unclear what your question is. Are you asking about the medical treatment of an individual? If that's your question, then I'm unable to provide an answer. The statement we provided to CBC was uh, two and a half pages long. So once you've reviewed that, if you have additional questions to come back with, I'm willing to take those. So uh, CBC could not Tituni Himayabu Titia Kematugu, Tan Nikara Nikimachara, Matama Potamatumikan, Amalu, Apekohi Kariet, Inung Matau Hang Motora, Yu Yak Hagman, Tabuna Kiuni, Ion, Afu, Inung Matau Hang Motora, and Napa, Ihanitan, Elipino, Tuni Himayak, Tuni Himayak food. Nikarani, Chak, Hema Yugala, Canopiller in Hakta Mangata, Kemeroni, Kimaleropi, Apekoi, Karak, and the Wang Neropi, Atwina, Naralo Tunga. Um, Inu to Hai, Housima Pata, Man Narolo, Inu Guni, Langasi Pata, Housimangitamine, or Ubaloni, Inu to Luti, Inu Guni Romani Pata. Hanukiata Manasi Jerta Runak to Chaos with the Chino, Anakangini, Ilangin Nisanian Ilote, um, Hano Inoguni Runak Loge. Maybe you could uh, answer this. Um, elders who know that they're soon going to be passing away, they don't want to pass away alone or in an environment that they're unfamiliar with. Maybe there's something that the department can change in order for these elders who know that very soon they're going to pass away. Can you bring them home and so that they can be surrounded by loved ones and in, in an environment that they're familiar with? But, uh, can I bring an elder home as a minister? Is that... Your I, department. Can my... De but, no, I'm going to decline to answer that question. It, it, it's a hypothetical. You're, you mentioned an individual. I don't want to discuss individuals' medical care in terms of a press conference, so I'm going to respectfully decline to answer that question. Thank you. Hello, Mathieu Sarvé, Radio Canada. Uh, my question is for Dr. Patterson. Um, just to go back on something you said during your statement, um, so southern, some southern jurisdictions have announced uh, that they're reopening up. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more on what's our timeline here and um, what um, what you're looking at um, to reopen communi communities across the territory and um, Ijalwit? Matis Harvey Radio Canada Kunu Hakago with the Makalunani, Matu Palle Lutilugi, Matu Palle Lutilugi, Nalune, Gumnaki, Hangakula, Mangata Limani, Nunalini, Nunavumi, Matu Palla Candilami. In general, we're, we're looking at the, um, the change in the number of cases, the spread of COVID into new households and new communities. 
um, and the workload uh, on the staff, all of those things impact the decision on whether to uh, tighten or ease public health measures. And there's a number of reasons why uh, you can't compare, or it's, it's very difficult to compare the response in Nunavut to other jurisdictions. The healthcare systems are different, the challenges are different, and the uh, risks of um, very rapid spread are in some communities very different from what they are in the South. So. Um, Bottom line is what happens in the south impacts what happens in Nunavut because it affects the rate at which uh, introductions happen, but it doesn't affect our decisions on public health measures. Nunavumita <laughs> Um, with that being said, um, to, just to go back on that timeline, um, people are wondering when they can expect uh, restrictions to be loosened. What does that look like? When it happens, we'll move in stages like smaller steps um, and it will start to vary more and more from community to community depending upon the um, level of COVID activity in the community uh, at that time and we're assessing that every one to two weeks for all 25 communities right now. <laughs> Just a reminder to all of our uh, reporter friends that this uh, time is for COVID related questions only. Um, and that is the reason we're allowed to use this this space. Hi, uh, David Ben, Nunatsiak News. Um, Dr. Patterson, can we get an update on the situation in the Glulik, uh, if the hotline's still backed up, how the ID nows are doing? David Ben, Nunatsiak News. Um, they're at, I think it's 58 cases today, uh, 55. Uh, as of right now, we're, um, they're still behind. There's still a significant workload and they're catching up, but uh, not there yet. And as of yesterday, more than half of the calls to the hotline were from the Glulik. Um Wait. Sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs>
Um, can you tell us uh, what you know so far about the BA2 subvariant of Omicron and what implications it could have for Nunavut? So for, for those who don't know, BA2 is yeah, the, an adaptation or a, a mutation from Omicron. Um, it's been labeled a variant of interest, and I know there's uh, some research going on. Uh, it's uh, spread in a few countries, and it's arrived in British Columbia. I'm not sure elsewhere in the country. Um, as far as is it more infectious? Does it cause more severe disease? Um, those are unknowns at this point, and we're uh, tracking the news uh, in the research uh, as it uh, develops. <laughs> British Columbia mugu tikisi malakto asingin no kanata mi tikit si mamanga tusak si mangi tu galo akisani kani man nam nak sa mga sulit man na kaw yu mayong yu may taman na tusak mo balangin na kaswag na tanga. Um, does a new sub variant like this being detected change um, the health department's approach to the pandemic at all? Taman na sa kipalalang na metilogo no ta. Not at this point. There's no evidence that vaccines are significantly less effective. There's no evidence that public health measures are uh, less effective. So uh, we continue to uh, follow the situation and um, uh, do what's needed to protect the health of Nunavumia. Mano Yoaga, Tamana, Kawinang in Matana, Anutigi Caputi, Atuti Harun Namanga, Sapumia, Guti, good numbing and noon, Amalotamakoana, Amangi Toler and Mamalita Gali, Hanutigi, Atuti Harun Namanga, Takis and Tamanga to Samagasang in Nalangayabo, Nunavumio, Sapumia, Semina, Hasua Hulu. Trevor Wright, Nunavut News. Um... It's only been a couple of years, but uh, has, has there been much research into the long-term health effects of COVID-19? Like, um, does it leave lingering damage? Like, Trevor Wright, no, no, what news? Good news. I go to my post. I'm gonna let it go. What did you go? Tama na no, what you ano sa klaus si mama? Tama ko ako yung sagot ako si mayo. No, what you ano kita katag tuno? Ano timi mo at tuyo na kagun na mga ata ako yung nagsimalika. Uh, yeah, in some people, it does leave long-term damage. It can be, for those who are not vaccinated and have not had previous infections, it's um, somewhere around 5%. I can't remember the exact figure. Will experience symptoms for many months after an infection. Um, how long it takes to, uh, what percentage of those people will fully recover and how long that recovery takes is... Um, uh, I'm not aware of that right now. Five percent of what? Uh, in infection, five percent of the time people will have symptoms, around five percent will have uh, symptoms months later. Okay. Ilang ay ako na alutay mo, nuwa jo na kaya ako tumini, pilo ako tumi kape yao sa mga ito itay mo, kanin mas maguti ka kaya ako ilang ay five percent tingi tamak ko pilo ako tumi. Hanoi gute ka hatak tu tak ka sa alam ni kisa ni hanuti gyo mga tamak ko mami palya ningi sulit ka yung mayang ito hanuti gyo mami hatak mga ata. As might have been asked before, but um, how how does uh, COVID nineteen testing and the kitit mute uh, f function? Like, uh, does it go to Rankin? Does it go to Yellowknife? Ata na pero yung lao sa mayut sa yung galaw tamak ko na wajo na kto ka mga ata kitit mute. How you start to go thingy? Can you send more at the club below your life? All of the communities in Katekmiat have ID Now devices, so they test with those uh, in the community. Um, if uh, PCR testing is needed, then they're uh, shipped to Rankin Inlet. 
My question is for Minister Grass. Um, are you providing emergency funding to college students who have to work from home? Are we providing emergency funding to students who have to work from home? Yes. Um, the funding that they're receiving if they're a student would be the funding that they receive from FANS, which is approved by the policy that FANS sets out. Um, <clears throat> I know that FANS has recently increased its capacity to provide more funding for Inuit and non-Inuit students. And those this year um, that are non-Inuit starting January 1st, will receive an increase in their subsidy for their loan. Thank you. My question is for Minister Main. Matsi Sarvi, Radio Canada. Um, we haven't heard about the isolation hubs for a while. Um, unvaccinated uh, people who still want to return to Nunavut or still, still have to isolate in the hubs down south. Um, can you give us an idea of how many people are still isolating every week? Hello, <laughs> Man, na how to get out of the market to the bunny. Um, Hanate, they are hung me, hung a kima you make twenty nine. They cheat to good to young me, big goody good. A nigui takima you. Um, so the, the isolation hubs are still in operation, uh, but the numbers have come down. Uh, significantly, uh, we all remember back in 2020 when there were hundreds and hundreds of Nunavumut who went through the isolation hubs. In the last week, uh, the numbers I have in front of me are that, that there have been 29 people who have come through uh, in terms of ending their isolation and coming into Nunavut. So the, the numbers are, are way down and we see that trend uh, continuing. Um, and how much have the hubs been costing since the um, the exemption for fully vaccinated uh, people took over last June? And how, considering that low number, you've just said 29 travelers, are you considering to remove some of the hubs or eventually remove them all? Hello. Uh, 
Aki no yet Mikanu to turn up a cotty yet, Kiuni Ayora Kumana Kiheni. Now how to pillow Lugi Pilarimni, a little no to Loraneka, um, Ukua e to your maybe in a two tito view you at all near Padlea, how young it out to Kluvit, near you to good Takeni, Agartunic, a pitarone, Romal to a little more to your maybe at all near Lorica, Lugid Lu. Um, on your question regarding the cost, I don't have that information, but I can commit to getting it from my staff and providing it to you as soon as possible, Matisse. In terms of the outlook for the isolation hubs, as the numbers continue to come down and more people get vaccinated, there's less need for them. And so in the, in the coming months, we do uh, expect to roll up the isolation hub operation entirely and um, do away with that with that option completely. I'm David Venn in Natsiak News. My questions are for Minister Gross. On average, um, how has school attendance been so far this week? David, when you not share news, you need to call in now. We move back at top to your hand. We see your mobile. I can't get into the specifics of each school, um, but we do have 50% capacity for some of our schools uh, that are um, in cohorts A and B, and we have some schools in Nunavut that are at 100% capacity. Um, as for the numbers, I'm not exactly sure how they have been, but we can clarify and find out. Um, for Wait. households with children. Wait. A and Malo B, Taco, and Likita Hatarsote, Ilani, one hundred per cent me, but yours, my yoga, Kisan, Hatchamata, Harunangi, Tokisan, Tokis, to Sartitia, and Runa. I can add, though, that we are collecting attendance weekly and can provide that. Hana to Gilid Nartio, Pahata Mangata. For households with children that are too young to get the vaccine. Um, should school-aged children living in the same home be doing school remotely to reduce the risk of transmission? Juana, for the question, I'll defer that to Dr. Patterson. Thanks. It, um, isolating school-aged children because there's unvaccinated people in the house by itself is not appropriate. If there's somebody in the house who is uh, infectious, then it would make sense to uh, have the students isolate at home. <laughs> Uh, Trevor Wright, note about news. Uh, has there been an update to uh, hospitalizations and or deaths in the territory? Yeah. Trevor Wright, note about news. Kuni Hanoli Ulumi Moon Unitsima Yuan Belumni Balo Tuhusima Yui. Neither of those have uh, changed since Tuesday, as far as I know, anyway. Tuesday? Tuesday, That's good. Um, I might have missed it, but uh, 29 people going through the hubs. Uh, since when was that? Uh, 
It's like, it, what's the timeline for? I think that was 29 people who had left, had traveled out of the hubs over the previous week. Week? Okay. Yeah. Came back to mm -hmm. uh, 29 Takwa, Taunang Otis, my way, Taimangani. My questions are for Minister May again. Mathis um, Harvey, Radio Canada. Two follow-ups here. Um, one about the hubs. Uh, you mentioned that eventually they'd be removed. Can you just elaborate a little bit more on what would be the measures or the restrictions for unvaccinated people traveling or what it would look like, basically, without the hubs? Depending upon what uh, the situation is like for COVID in the South, um, we could change this, but more than likely it will be a requirement for people to isolate at home for a set period of time after they return home. This question is really for Minister Main. <laughs> Thank you. Um, to follow up on Theresa's question um, that was asked earlier, um, I think COVID is bringing a lot of uncertainty, a lot of and anxiety um, to families and elders who are currently in the South. I think the question is, what are your department actively doing at the moment to make sure that elders who want to come back are able to during this uncertain times? Are you working on some kind of plan? And if so, what, what's the state of the discussions? <laughs> Uh,
Um, I'll try to say it quicker in English. Uh, on your question, uh, there is no plan along what you are asking in terms of combining the issue of COVID-19 concerns and uh, repatriation of elders. Um, all the existing policies and procedures are in place, but there's no specialized plan around um, specifically to COVID. Uh, but in terms of Embassy West, I'm happy to report that all Nunavut residents have now recovered. Uh, there are still uh, several residents at that facility with COVID, but they're, they're not from Nunavut. Um, so that's obviously still a concern. Uh, essential caregivers are still down there from, from Nunavut. Um, and as of January 19th, uh, dining room and social programs at Embassy West have resumed with public health measures still in place. And as of January 19th, I'm happy to report that other health services have been uh, resumed in terms of hairdressing, uh, foot care, physiotherapy. Um, so that's a general update in terms of Embassy West. Thank you, everyone. That brings us to the conclusion of our media conference today. Uh, just a, uh, a note that there is some internet issues in Iqaluit with the GN offices. So if you're having difficulty connecting with GN services today regarding COVID, please be patient. Uh, that's an IT issue that's being worked on. And we'll have our next press conference on uh, Tuesday at 11 a.m. Thank you.